Thank you for hopping in. I'm so excited seeing you in here. I am Ayofe Oluwa Woleoju, the lead coach at Queen's Diction and Social Polish Academy. I was a television broadcaster for about 10 years and then I resigned in 2015 to teach elocution full-time. And this is what I have dedicated the last five years to doing. I consult for top organizations, for schools, and I train individuals at the executive coaching level. I thought I could speak English language so well. People had told me all my life that I speak English language pretty well, and I used to be very proud of myself. Until I attended an elocution course, I became very ashamed to open my mouth to speak because I realized then that there is a clear difference between fluency and eloquence. So this is just an introduction to what to look forward to and what this course is going to cover. First, I'd like to establish that we are judged in three ways. Every time we are judged in three ways. One, how you appear, how you look is the first thing people see. Two, how you say what you say. It's not even what you say, but how you say it. That's the second thing. And then number three is what you say. And I'd like to say to you that how you say something is twice as important as what you are actually saying. How you're saying it is more important than what you are saying exactly. Because first, people need to find you endearing. People need to find you admirable before they buy into whatever you're selling. Because you are the one on sale. You are the first person before, especially for those of us rendering services, for before anyone can decide to pay us to render a service to them, it means that we are the first people they're actually buying into. So people need to find you endearing. And how can they find you endearing? How? A shortcut to this is how you speak. So when you speak so well, people would want to listen to you. Now I go back to people need to find you endearing. People need to find you likable. And let me just tell you a short story. So I used to know a guy, he's a comedian. And every time I see him, he jumps around, makes lots of noise. And every time I tell people around me, what's wrong with this boy? Why is he always everywhere? Jumping, making noise and disturbing other people. I couldn't care less because I really do not know him that much. But fast forward, we became friends. I started to like him. And then this guy became funny. So before then, every time he stands to crack his jokes, I don't find him funny. I didn't used to find him funny. But immediately I liked him. Immediately we became friends. And then he would crack his jokes and I would laugh and laugh and I would really laugh and I would wonder, is it the same person? Yes, it is the same person. What changed? The ability or the fact that I have found him endearing. So that is very important. And remember I said, a shortcut to making people like or admire you is just to sound well, to sound good, to speak well, and to sound distinct in your speech because elocution warms your way into the heart of the people. Make sure this course profits you. You could be watching this from every part of the world, but in Nigeria, where I come from, sometimes when people start making deliberate efforts to speak well, People around them would start saying, what's wrong with you? Why are you talking like this? Talk normally. They, would, they get 
And I tell people they get intimidated when people start bullying them. People will bully you when you stand out because people like to be around people who are like them. So immediately you're not like them. You sound different. You speak different. You are succinct in speech. They start getting intimidated. They start bullying you with the intention to drag you down back to their level. Never allow mediocrity. Allow you to step down. This is excellence. Mediocrity should rather rise to the level of excellence. Excellence should never have to bow or come to the level of mediocrity. So the first step for you is taking this course. Make sure it profits you because this is the simplest thing to do. You can decide to pay whatever amount you paid to buy this course. You can even pay a thousand dollars to buy a course. But what is difficult that many people do not actually do is doing what it takes to make sure that that course profits them. English language is oral. You would have to speak it. You would have to sound distinct and make sure that people rather rise to your level. They'd rather want to sound like you and never allow anyone to bully you down to their level and make you stop being distinct in speech. Do what it takes and don't listen to the bullies.